hi friends um, today i'm going to uh, uh, give a session on the topic uh, thread <coughs> okay so thre thread uh, is something but it uh, a program may con uh, a program may have uh, n number of n number of uh, task so each task can be handled by a thread right so each part of a program uh, uh, we can call it as a thread so the a thread it does a specific task right um, a thread can be created in two ways one is using the keyword thread i mean that, that's a class using the class thread and the other one is using the interface runnable okay so <coughs> can be created in two ways using the first uh, one uh, we can create a thread using the thread class the second uh, one we can create a thread using the runnable interface all right now let me show you in the program it Mm, a class just name it as a thread one okay. <coughs> mm. that's why okay the name of the class is a thread one a thread x okay and I click on finish so class is created <coughs> oh, sorry <coughs> let's create the class again uh, new uh, class a thread ok x <coughs> so this uh, what we do like we create a class I mean, uh, we want to create a thread, alright? So, thread can be created in two ways. The first way is using the thread class. So, I have created a class named a thread x. You can see I have highlighted and uh, it has to extend the thread class. So, I click on here the super class option. I click on browse and then you can see I need to type a pop up window comes in. I need to type in thread. Okay. You can see the thread. Uh, uh, it is highlighted in the list. Select that and then click on finish. Okay, now you can see a class named a thread x extends thread. So class named thread x a thread x is created. Thread. All right. So here what um, <coughs> uh, we are going to create a constructor for this a thread x. Okay, and within this constructor, we just call the method. Mm, let me <coughs> tell you. <coughs> uh, whenever you talk about, like, whenever we work on thread, so it does have two methods. One is the start, and the other one is the run. So we make a call to the start method, and within that start method, JVM. Uh, I mean, being in that start method, JVM calls the run method. All right, and we need to override the run method. Fine. Um, <coughs> so here uh, within the constructor I just call the start method fine so just to system dot out dot print alarm. within the Constructor of I mean a thread x within the class a thread constructor. <coughs> All right, so now. 
already we have created the thread named a thread x right uh, so we have created we want to start the thread right so here we just call in the start method all right uh, what if uh, like uh, we would like to give a name we would like to have a name for this thread i mean uh, we would like to have a customized name for this thread so you can pass in here pass in to the constructor already we have created with uh, the empty constructor no it's just like uh, <coughs> so thread this here with this statement so we have created a thread named a thread x and then within the constructor we have started the thread all right and we need uh, what uh, this start method does it will make a call to the run method i mean within the start method jvm will make a call uh, will call the run method so uh, run method uh, we need to override the run method okay here we do that so public void run so here what we do like uh, within the some we just uh, create a try cache block Here you can type in within the a thread x run method. Okay. Fine. Now you can see if you want. Uh fine uh, i created a thread okay i have created a thread i'm going to call from the other class i'm going to call this thread from other class so let it one more class uh, let me name it as uh, main main thread x Okay, I make it and here I make a check mark for the public static void main. Click on it. So it is created. Uh, now you can. Now what I do already, I created a thread. So uh, let me create the object for this thread. Um, thread. 
yeah we have created a thread named a thread x right so i have created a i have i'm going to create a create an object i'm going to create an object for this thread a thread x um, o b j1 equal to new a thread x okay mm. Here I can type in some system dot out dot print ln. Okay, I can say now within within the class main main thread x main method <coughs> all right so um now i'm gonna run uh, what i have done i have created a thread named a thread x okay and in that thread how do i create that thread um by extending the thread class okay here you can see thread class and inside the thread class uh, a thread x a constructor is created inside the constructor i just uh, start the thread okay just by call using the start method okay you can see using the start method and then <coughs> what, what do i do i i override the run method which is uh, which exist in the runnable interface okay uh, i override i i i just uh, key in some code snippet now within a try cache block a statement gets printed all right you can um, if you want you can make this thread to you can call sleep if you want the thread uh, i mean if sleep method it is used to uh, suspend the execution for uh, for uh, for some all right so we want to stop the execution for some time then we can call the sleep method here uh, how do we call just uh, you can see the thread dot thread you can see it comes the current thread yeah dot sleep this is sleep i can within this sleep uh, parameter you can give any uh, long uh, primitive data type uh, you can give long uh, data type like any numbers i give just 1000 right i mean this is uh, I mean this uh, thread execution will uh, I mean it will not it will it will be stopped for some time all right here I give uh, some number it will be uh, converted to the uh, time and then for that period of time uh, it I mean this thread won't get executed it will be uh, it will be suspended and then uh, after the that time the period of time got over it will <coughs> resume okay so here that's it i have uh, created a thread and then in, uh, i i just create a class with uh, main method and in inside uh, this name of the class is main thread x uh, here inside the main method <coughs> i just call that uh, created thread named a thread x i just call uh, i mean i create a i create an object for this uh, thread a thread x all right i just execute the program all right let me run this program let's see let's see uh, program got executed you can see in the console uh, we got the output in the console you can see um let me highlight the text in the console now it shows now within the class main method main thread x main so here actually when we execute the program uh, initially the jvm the control comes here right so the first statement is now i just printed text saying now within the class main thread 
uh, main main method so the the same text got printed here in the console you can see it in the console right and then <coughs> the second statement what, what do i do like i create a, i create an object for the thread a thread x uh, i create an object right you can see a thread x uh, obj1 equal to new a thread x i create an object for this thread named a thread x so once uh, when i create uh, an object uh, for the thread a thread x again uh, a thread x the control goes to the a thread x thread here uh, it does have the constructor so control comes here a thread x uh, thread so it does have the constructor a thread x uh, thread has the constructor so uh, within the constructor i just print a text saying within the class a thread constructor so that you can see in the console within the class thread x constructor that got printed all right and then <coughs> and then the a thread x uh, thread got started just by calling the just by uh, just by by the next statement where the execute the start method is called okay so within the start method uh, jvm calls the run method so run method is nothing but uh, it's uh, it is a method that uh, exists in the runnable interface okay so we do override the run method so control comes here okay and here you can see i just uh, within the run method i print a text uh, saying within the uh, a thread x run method the same got printed in the console okay within the a thread x run method fine and then control goes run thread uh, dot sleep uh, it is uh, i mean this thread is uh, suspended for some time and then again the execution uh, uh, and then the uh, it uh, it got back uh, for execution all right so here um, that's it so once it uh, uh, i mean the run method execution uh, got over the control again comes to the main thread x okay main uh, comes to the class main thread x here uh, no more statements for execution all right so the program uh, gets ended all right so i believe uh, now you uh, this uh, explain i mean this uh, till this you got to understand uh, how to create a thread using the thread class all right so let me uh, explain you how to create a thread using the runnable interface okay so let me close this uh, a thread i'm going to create one more uh, class a thread x r okay and here what i do like uh, i want uh, this uh, class to implement the interface named runnable all right so i click on this uh, interface you can see uh, i have given the class name a thread x r and i do uh, okay and then uh, underneath you can see the option to add the interface so in this interface you need to click on add and uh, uh, it uh, a pop up window comes in where you, you just type in runnable it list uh, in the list you, you can see it on the top so select that so now the th i mean the class which you create it implements a runnable interface All right now click on uh, okay finish All right now you got uh, you have created a you have created a class a thread xr okay so which implements a runnable uh, interface so obviously this uh, now we can create uh, we can make this uh, a thread i mean we can make this class as a thread how do we do that here you can see already we uh, uh, by implementing a runnable interface so it becomes uh, yeah, i mean uh, 
uh, we can make this class make can make a class as a thread all right so i just create uh, constructor a thread xr all right and uh, within this constructor um, i take a string okay uh, I, I take a string as a parameter and here I, uh, what i do uh, i just um, let me okay um, i have created a, a reference variable for the third class okay there is a class named thread so i have created a reference variable named t for this thread class so inside the constructor uh, i just create a constructor that takes a that takes one that takes one parameter or right, that takes a string parameter uh, inside that what do i do like i um, t i mean the reference thread the reference variable t equal to new thread so I, I create a thread here by using the keyword new i create a thread here and i pass in i need to pass in uh, the object right so i just give the current object this class all a thread xr this uh, class uh, object i mean this always refers to the uh, current class or current object right so uh, this always refers to this always refers to the current class so i just uh, pass in the current class i mean the current object all right this always refers to the current object so i just give in the this and then um, so here this points to the uh, a thread x r object okay this class object fine and then what what do i do i give i need to give the um, name of the thread so name whatever the name i get it through the from the end user that is uh, we get it as a as an input from the end user through string right so that a is uh, passed here okay <coughs> now it is created now the thread is created all right so how do we create the thread uh, using the runnable uh, you need to uh, create a class which implements the runnable interface all right and the next uh, create a constructor that uh, that takes a, a single string parameter and then inside the constructor create a thread using the new keyword all right when you create the thread pass in the class um, i mean pass in the keyword this so the, i mean the we need to pass in two things one is the object and the other one is a thread name so for the object just pass in the this uh, keyword uh, this refers to the current object and uh, for the name thread name just uh, whatever the uh, uh, name you get it through the constructor just pass that name string or uh, string object here all right so it, it is done now the next statement what we need to start the thread right so how do we start using the keyword thread so just type in key t dot start so you can see start all right okay now the thread is I mean thread is started all right we we have uh, started the thread now runnable interface it does have uh, the method called run okay it does have the method called run we need to uh, implement this method we need to override the method um here what we do just uh, just dot out dot print then yes um within a thread xr run method okay mm. let's make everything in within the try block out dot so here cache block hmm? a thread xr
Okay. Um, fine. You don't. Okay. Now I have created. Uh, I have. Um, I just added a code snippet within the run method. I just uh, print a text saying within a thread xr run method. All right. Um, that is to be crystal clear. I can say uh, using runnable interface. So this makes it clear. Okay, fine. Now well, I have created a thread named a thread xr using the runnable interface. Fine. Let me go here uh, to the main thread. I mean, let me go to the class main thread x. Here, what do I do? I just create. I'm gonna call Okay, I just uh, again here I uh, in the main uh, main class. Okay, in the other uh, main thread class, I just print within the main method. I print a text saying, uh, "I'm gonna now I'm gonna create a class. Create I'm gonna create an object. Okay, for the thread named um, a thread xr. Okay, here a thread xr." <coughs> name of the thread and then object name um, zpg1 equal to new a thread xr okay here uh, <coughs> make um, note down here um, i need to pass in a construct i need to pass in a parameter the name of the thread has to be uh, when I create an object for this uh, thread a thread xr, I need to pass in the name of the uh, thread as a parameter. All right. In the parameter, I need. Uh, let me repeat. When I create a thread, I mean uh, when I create an object for the thread a thread xr, I need to pass in the name of the thread as a parameter. Okay. So I just give a thread um, anything x y z okay that's the name of the thread mm. so here you can see in the a thread xr you can see in the constructor uh, it takes the this is the constructor it takes a string parameter and that parameter uh, a string a is assigned is given as a thread name when we create create a thread inside the constructor so that's the reason uh, when we create an uh, object for this thread a thread xr we just pass in the uh, name of the thread as a parameter all right now i just i'm going to run this program okay let me see um, see uh, program got executed and we got the output in the console you can see um, you can see now the first one <coughs> now <coughs> within the class main thread x main so uh, from where it got printed so this is the main class main thread x uh, this is the main method inside the first statement is uh, we do have the statement saying now within the class main thread x main so that statement here it got printed in the, in the output stream <coughs> right the next one uh, you can see within the class a thread constructor so next what we do here the uh, we call we make a we create a constructor for the a thread x uh, <coughs> just created a thread using the thread class right so that 
that method that class is called and that uh, that thread is uh, uh, that thread has been called and that thread as the constructor so that within that constructor i just have this uh, statement within the class a thread x constructor so that got printed here okay and then now the control comes here here you can see system dot out dot here i have uh, <coughs> um, written a statement now i'm going to create a or uh, create an object now i'm going to create an object for the thread uh, named a thread x uh, this the same got printed here now i'm going to create an object for the thread name a uh, named a thread xr and then i create an object uh, zbj1 for the thread a thread xr and i do pass in the name of the thread as a parameter xyz all right so when i <coughs> create an object from uh, this statement the control goes to the a thread xr class you can see a thread xr class which implements the runnable interface okay here uh, a thread xr does have the constructor it takes a parameter name of the thread as a parameter string parameter so uh, <coughs> within the constructor thread is created it takes the current uh, class current object as a thread uh, this refers to the current object so it takes that uh, the first parameter thread uh, uh, thread is created so using the new keyword so thread constructor uh, again it takes two parameters first one is the object uh, that is uh, this we have given uh, it refers to the current object and the second one is the name of the thread name we, he, here we have given the uh, we have uh, wh what we get through the constructor that, that that's been passed as the uh, name of the thread in the thread constructor and then we start the thread by calling the start method again <coughs> now the control comes here okay <coughs> so uh, within the start method what happens jvm calls the run method that is uh, that exists in the runnable interface so we have over we have uh, overrided the run method uh, now the control comes to the run method you can see uh, within i have given a code snippet for this uh, run method try block uh, within the try i have uh, just printed a text saying uh, using the runnable interface within a thread xr run method the same <coughs> this now it got printed here is runnable interface within a thread xr run okay and then now Okay, here it comes here. All right. Um, so here it got printed. This one within the run method, uh, I have given a text and it got printed. And then you can see uh, within the a thread x run. So already we have created a thread named a thread x. Uh, using the thread class so in that class if you see um, uh, run method within the run method I I, I mean I made the thread <coughs> to sleep for some time and then uh, it has to execute uh, a statement alright so that's the reason uh, after some time uh, the statement which is in which is part of the a thread x run method that got printed all right i believe uh, <coughs> um, you you now you got to understand uh, how to create a thread using uh, thread class as well using the runnable interface all right and uh, this thread uh, it does have many methods uh, around uh, 25 methods it does have uh, you can make use of all those methods um, um, uh, okay so um, in the real world programming so how do what are all the methods the core methods like um, just consider um, I'll, I'll show you already I have uh, <coughs> now fine, uh, no issues like uh, let me give a session on that uh, uh, 
let me give a separate session on the for the methods uh, that exist in the thread class all right so i believe this session would have given you the complete uh, knowledge on how to create a thread using uh, thread class as well the runnable interface uh, that's for the session let me catch you with uh, the other topics in the upcoming sessions um, uh, this thread it does a few methods then we need to work on that i will uh, i'll uh, give a session on that topic um, in the upcoming uh, i mean uh, soon uh, at the earliest i will uh, post a topic on this thread uh, methods all right so <coughs> uh, please do subscribe to the channel java track um uh, click on the bell icon to get notified to get notified on new post uh, if you like this session please uh, share with your friends and well wishes thanks for watching bye